going on guys? Like I said, that workout was a doozy, but I do something um, daily that I, I figured I'd show you guys and it's just my basic mobility warm up to my warm up. Uh, I'll do it anytime. Sometimes I'll do it again as a cool down, but adding this into my workout regimen uh, has really helped my, my lower back, my hips, my knees, my joints and shoulders feel better. I'm not saying that you know I'm, I'm always super tight or I do have a lot of restrictions within the hip and the knee and the feet, everything goes down the line, but uh, the more I've been doing this, the, the fresher I've been feeling. So I'll go through the sequence with you guys. Feel free to follow along. Um, I hit everything. This is just pre-warm up. It's not like a, a long stretch. It's kind of getting my body tuned up before you actually even start doing like jumping jacks and arm circles. Usually you can do it for a minute. If you want more of a stretch, you can do it for two minutes, even longer per hold, okay? So per hold is what you're gonna do. Um, first off, you can start with some basic foam rolling. I'm not gonna waste time on that. Um, foam roll, soft tissue work, you know, get a med ball or a lacrosse ball, dig out those really tender areas. For me, it's usually my TFL, hip socket, my front quad and my lat, I'll get inside there. Um, after that, I'll hit the bike um, or rower or something just to get my heart rate up. Not really necessary, but my body feels better when it's warmer. So once I start getting my heart rate up a little bit, then, then I'll do that and then I'll go into the sequence. So first one, super couch, get anything that you could plop onto, a tumbling mat if you have one, I'm just kidding. Uh, your couch is fine, that's why it's called super couch. I'm bringing you guys a little closer um, so I could talk to you because I don't have my glances. I can't see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Frankenstein foot, I'm gonna put it up on top, I'm gonna drop the knee all the way down to the mat or the floor. Okay, the other hand's gonna be here. I'm gonna kind of angle this foot different ways. So sometimes I'll push it out to the side more. Sometimes I'll bring it a little tighter. Where it is that feels good, and now I'm just gonna squeeze my glute of this leg. Okay, I'm squeezing my butt, breathing, and really squeezing. I want a nice hip flexor stretch. So I have to get a nice stretch here as well as the quad. What I don't wanna do is I don't wanna lean back, okay? Just wanna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hang on nice and tight. The other one, hands in front. Okay, I'm not leaning or hunching over too much. Now if you want a little extra stretch, you could always go over to the, the lat stretch or get a nice turn over the leg. We could hang here, but just make sure you squeeze this glute, right? Butt cheeks on fire, squeeze. Everyone's still sleeping, but they'll probably wake up by the time they hear me start talking way too much, um, as I always do. And good, that's a minute, so I'm gonna get on out of there. You can step out of it or you can just, do I have my pockets inside out? Yes, inside out pants is what I do. Switch to the other side, drop that knee down, same thing. They're gonna feel different. You might feel the stretch uh, or mobilization a little bit differently in a different area that all depends on you. And I'm gonna hang out here, big squeeze of the glutes. Oh. And just breathe it. So now I'll add a little oscillation, which means I'll squeeze, and now I'm gonna rock back and forth. Rock back and forth. This one feels a little more tighter in the hip flexor. The other one was more in the quad. So I'll oscillate here, squeeze, find that end range, and then just hold it for a second. Four, not four, maybe like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Squeeze, 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 squeezing. Finding that end range of the oscillation or the stretching. Now I'm starting to feel it in my back, so I'm gonna pull away. See that, I started feeling in my lower back as I started stretching deeper. I felt in my lower back, that means I started cur curving or arching probably too much. I'm gonna pull away from there. So I really focus on getting the stretch here. I don't want it to leave, okay? So if you notice what I said, I started leaning into it, that means I was starting to arch my back and now it started pinching a little bit, so I pulled away from it. All right, pull away from there. Hanging up top should be a minute coming up soon. And definitely is. Up and out. Oh, Jesus. Now, I always get a cramp in my foot there. I always get a cramp in the foot, so that's weird. So this one's a high hip stretch. Again, you're gonna use the same upper platform, whether it's your couch or a box. Um, hard to be on a chair, but I'm gonna take my foot, I'm gonna put it on top of the box, I'm gonna let it fall. That's a light here. I'm gonna come in, big step. I'm gonna kinda let the leg hang this out. I'm not pushing it out. I'm gonna take this leg, and I'm just gonna rock it in. Now everyone's gonna be different. Right here, I like to rock back and forth. Same thing up and down. And I'm gonna breathe. Staying here for about a minute. Again, hanging out, breathing into it. If you want it longer, then you keep it for two minutes. You know, if you would do this as like a stretch, maybe you do have some hip pain, lower back pain, this is a stretch you wanna kinda hit, really open up this 
this socket here we call the high hip. So if I was gonna do a switch in wrestling, I'm gonna come back or if I'm gonna put my wallet in my pocket, that's the kind of muscle around there is what we're trying to, to hit. You know, but you'll feel in different places. Now I like to drop down sometimes, chest up tall. Remember, it's a ball and socket joint, so it goes so many directions. I'm not sure of the rotation, or am I gonna pretend that I do? Uh, I forget, it should be 360, but probably not. Um, I think, I don't, I don't remember, to be honest with you. I don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember. That's how a little kid says remember. I don't remember. Do you remember it? I don't remember. And then again, I don't remember. It's like when they say elemental P. Nano P. Nano P. And good, that should be a minute. It's my favorite part of the alphabet when, when talking to Phoenix. Literally, probably my favorite part. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, 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 So look, step over, big hip, drop through. This is gonna take care of the outside hip. The first one was for that inside hip and quad. This one also get a little bit of calf stretch in the back, right? If I push that leg back, I get a little bit of a calf stretch there. But I really wanna focus on this ball and socket or high hip. This one, this butt cheek right there. That caused a lot of sad pain. Now again, if you have a little pinching, like a lot of pinching, you gotta regress it, okay? If you feel any pain pain, get out of there. It doesn't, just cause it's a stretch, doesn't mean it's good for you, okay? And that's the, the issue. Sometimes you feel like it stretches, it stretches, but it's pinching, your body's actually protecting. So now it's gonna turn on different patterns and different muscles to protect that muscle, to protect that joint, or with that movement. It doesn't wanna be there, so we gotta find something different that'll, that'll feel good for you there, you know? It should be a minute. Step on out. So this one's lat stretch, belt or band, put it on something. I mean, it's on the squat rack. You use a belt, put on door, grab it, pull, whatever, I'll show you two ways. And I'm just gonna drop my head. Bang, here. <sighs> big reach, big breathing. No music in the background, because I got dinged last time. For YouTube, they didn't like that there was a song in the background, I kind of picked it up, and I'm gonna turn my palm. Okay, I'm not grabbing it. All right, I wanna, I wanna let it loose, my hand loose. That's why a belt is good, loop through something. And I'm just gonna rock back and forth, drop down, turn my body into it, turn it back, make sure I'm breathing. This also helps me get my breathing going, which starts letting my body know it's either time to go or it's time to relax. So the way I breathe is gonna be a big indicator of how I'm going to take this on. So if I'm doing this pre-workout, I'm not taking, bi I'm taking big breaths, but I'm just trying to ramp up the system. So I'm taking maybe deeper, faster, more frequent breaths versus when I'm done, I'll go. Try to let it all out, hold it out for a couple seconds and then bring it back. But if I was like warming up, then I'd go. Breathing into it, maybe start ramping up my lungs. And it should be a minute. Uh, and getting ready for battle, like getting ready to work out. You know, a lot of us don't do that. We just go in, do a couple jumping jacks, and we, we're done. I, I prepare, like it's all right, we're getting ready for a game. Like this is, it's time. You know, I want my mind to get set. I take uh, working out pretty seriously um, because I like working out. You know, that's my, my favorite part. So for now, I'm done. That was a tough workout, right? If you guys really, that was a tough workout. Uh huh. And now I'm just gonna stretch here, right? Minute. Hanging out. So far it's been about 10 minutes of just me talking. So it really isn't that much of your day, but sometimes we make it longer than it is or harder than it is, you know, because it's change. You know, we don't like change. We don't like doing things differently. But I feel like now we're all forced to, so why not the best time to, to get the patterns going and get everything, getting everything in, you know? Might as well do it now because your body's gonna feel good or your habits will feel good, especially now. You know, when you got stuff to do. You know, more time than ever, I believe, and it's something I think everyone asks for. Is that weird? You know, we all ask, I wish I had more time, I wish I had more time. Boom, there it is. Now what? Now you got it. Crazy. Yeah. good. So, now I'm gonna take that belt. Got a little bit of shoulder restriction there. I'm gonna take that belt and we'll move through. If you have a band, that's even better, perfect. 
Here, two ways you can do this. I'm gonna go up and over. So depending on my movement, I'm gonna stretch, sit and put my hand behind my head, and let's let it take, okay? It's not that hard. Now, if you don't have the band, you can always just use a doorway. I feel like the doorway stretch a lot too. So if this is a doorway, kind of, right? We're in the doorway. I'm just gonna take it here. You go like that, you can drop the elbow behind, and you can always stretch, you know, put a coat on a post. You can always stretch this lat, rib cage, and I'm breathing in top, up top. For those of you guys with pecs, right, or pec shoulder issues, 90 degree, you're gonna wanna lean into it. Okay, I'm not turning, don't turn. Just leaning right into it, and then coming out. So those are different ways you can hit that shoulder. Okay, but for me, I'm gonna use the band. I have a lot of elbows, tendonitis sometimes. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go Macho Man. I'm sorry, not Macho Man. Ravishing Rick Rude. I don't know if you guys know that. And now I'm just gonna let it take. Let this take. Hang it for a minute. Talk to you guys. This is a very good I should have set this up better. Can you tell that I finished working out because now I'm getting super tired. Before I just worked out, now super tired. Here. So you're gonna take the band. Put it over, let's start over, and then this big stretch here. Zoop, zoop, zoop. That's it. Nice and easy. You go here. It depends if I'm gonna go Ollie, then I'll go into more of this stretch. Here. Get more inside there because I gotta open up on that clean or snatch. Taking a minute. Breathing. Does me lost train of thought and then switch. Get this guy out of here. It's very sticky, slippery down here now. Oh yeah, a sweaty mess. Good. It's just breathing heavy. Get all that humidity. That's it. Getting the stretch on the upper body. So I have two lower bodies, two upper bodies. And I'll show you how we finish out. Okay. That's my cup. That's weird. That's fantastic. Disinfectant so I can clean afterwards. You never know. I'm gonna clean it up. We're gonna get a minute here. This one hurts more. It's feeling like a little bit of an impingement. I feel like a little pinchy. So I'll we'll take a step back. Right? Making sure I still get the stretch inside here. I don't want no pinching pain too much inside there. A little bit of tightness, yeah, but like pinching. I'm out. Ugh. And if you want, here's another one I like to do. Kind of grab and then I go behind the back. This way, it's, it's aggressive, so be careful. And now it's like I'm getting arrested and they're gonna, ah, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, you can like that, but letting them take it. So I'm letting the arm take. See, I'm starting to pitch. I want good posture here. Just let that arm take. Let this band or whatever. Lift it up through breathing. Get a nice stretch in that shoulder. It might be tough for some of you guys. If not, then don't do it, you know? But if you feel good, it feels good on you, then why not? And it's only been 15 minutes of me talking. You know, this is probably faster than 15 minutes, except all the time that I use to set up here. Switch it up, I'm gonna go to the other side just to feel good. Since I already did it, and then I can talk to you guys out of, out of here. Now I said, any sequence that feels good, even if you do the first two, once you start getting the first two, you go, fuck it, I might as well just do the rest. And I think that's the way it works, and that's the way it goes. So make sure you guys do that as well. So up top, big chest. Breathing, my back popped, that's good. It, it was a lot of burpees, a lot of rowing and running um, today. So my hips are definitely gonna be tight. So I want to make sure I do this uh, afterwards. A lot of burpees, so that's why this is definitely gonna be sore for tomorrow. And then I'll uh, be making some videos today on like how to really you know, tune in your body to, to help fight viruses and help fight bacteria and, and all that stuff, you know, and with nutrition and or working out, because you can do a lot of things right, you can do a lot of things wrong, and sometimes what we think is right is also wrong, right? Right? I don't know like All right, so I'm, my body's starting to cool down and ramp down. That means I need to shut down for a second. But I'll talk to you guys soon. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that you need from me, and I'll be uh, that resource for you, I hope. All right, peace out, guys. Cub Scouts.